Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Murder Taman here. Today was meant to be an original video of the hanger plushies that I was gonna do today, but then something came up. It's the Bell McFarlane toys. They made something I did not expect them to make, but they actually did it because it turns out they made Demon Slayer figures that are coming out in, on April 1st, which is uh, April Fool's Day, which I don't like that day. I hate April Fool's Day, by the way. Even though I'm, I do like the prank people. But I cannot believe they're releasing the Demon Slayer figures. And today I'm going to show you all the figures they have that are releasing on April 1st. We have some 5 inch and 12 inch and a couple of sets. And let's begin by showing you our main cast star, Tanjiro Kamado. Alright, first figure we have ourselves is the 7 inch Tanjiro Kamado. And in my opinion, this figure looks awesome. A lot of people say McFarlane Toys is not really good with their anime figures, like the My Hero collection. But in my opinion, the My Hero figures are cool. Especially that variant Deku I have my hands on. You guys didn't see that in one of my videos, actually, because it was actually one of my videos. Well, not a, a review video. It was in a plush video. Make sure you watch uh, Rem and Ram episode 3, because then you'll find see that guy in an episode. But anyways... Based on this Tanjiro figure, it looks awesome, especially since it comes with the water, uh, water, water form, uh, attack, which is pretty cool about the figure. It also has the Demon Slayer logo on top of the little circle on the stand, which is pretty cool, like, just like the My Hero one. And I think this figure would go great if you have, like, My Hero figures also, with the, the My Hero Academia ones, based on the 7-inch, but... This will not match with like the Figma ones because the 7 inch ones are a bit tall, a 2 inch taller, well mostly 3 inch taller than the 5 inch figures than we have, like the Figma. But so far th this figure looks awesome, I'm assuming this can move its torso. We also got a separate piece with Tanjiro's sword and also it has, he has uh, two different hands basically. You could. Well, technically, he has four different hands. That one that comes with him, and there's two extra ones if you want to switch his hand to hold his sword, which is pretty cool about the figure. And in my opinion, this figure looks awesome. Definitely going to buy my hands on this figure. Turns out the 7 inch figures are going to be, of course, $24.99. Not what I expected from, uh, from McFarlane Toys, because the My Hero ones are like $19, $19, I think. I don't remember how much they cost, but. I think they're $19, but anyways, yeah, let's get to our, our favorite little demon, Nezuko. Here's our favorite little demon, Nezuko Kamado, and let me just say, this figure looks badass. It looks so dope, in my opinion. Nezuko looks really awesome, especially with the anger expression. That's a really cool part about the Nezuko figure. I, w I wonder if he'll have extra faces so he could change it. We also see she has her demon fire, which is pretty cool about the figure. We could also pose her in cool different ways. I'm not sure if the arms are going to be very flexible compared to the Tanjiro ones, but based on them, they look like they can like barely even move. The legs will probably do a lot, a lot of poses with the legs. Like we could probably make her like kick anything or something like that. But based on it, it looks really cool. The muzzle and the and the pink bow on her look really cool. The hair looks really fresh also on the figure. So here's Nezuko and his and her packaging. The packaging looks really cool so far. It looks kind of plain, but it looks cool so far. She comes with, uh, I guess, four extra hands, two for her battle skills, I guess, and then one, and then the other two are for her her demon fire, which is pretty cool. I really like that about Nezuko, but I wish one thing they could have added was like would be her claws because she does have claws in the show but anyways let's get into Zenitsu here's Zenitsu and in my opinion everything looks okay with the figure but the thing is is that people are kind of right a bit Zenitsu's face looks a bit out of place in my opinion but he looks good so far the closing is good she, he comes with a sword which is pretty cool about the figure here's Zenitsu in, in the different pose but Denise doesn't come with any lightning, which is a downfall because, uh, of course, Tanjiro came with his, his, his water form attack, and Nezuko came with her 
demon fire, which is a downfall because it would have been cool if the Nitsu came with his lightning. But it's a downfall either way. But the Nitsu looks pretty cool so far. The Nitsu in the packaging, uh, of course, some of the packaging sometimes could be messing up the legs, looking making the legs look a bit funky. But it's fine. That hap that happened with my uh Deku figure I have. But either way, he comes with two extra hands, he comes with a sword, and then you get the figure himself. So anyways, now that we're done with the uh, these figures so far, let's get into the five inch figure. We're gonna have to turn sideways if you wanna see this part. But anyways, here's Zenitsu. Zenitsu, this is a five inch Zenitsu figure. I guess when he does sleep. This is a, a play set. Which is cool because it comes with his lightning, which is something we were hoping for. The seven inch figure, which was a downfall, had nothing. But the five inch figure comes with it. I could see I could see them making this set because they did make the My Hero Academia world the the battle set for My Hero Academia with the that comes with the sports festival Deku. But anyways, the lighting on the background looks really cool, especially since we have Zenitsu himself, but with him sleeping. Here's Zenitsu when he's sleeping. Of course, they can't mess this up because the sleepy eyes are pretty much easy to make. I think the only thing that's hard is just the eyes. The mouth should have been e probably easy too. I think the only thing they just messed up is, is just the eyes. That's the only problem I think they messed up either way. But so far, the time, the, she, he looks pretty cool. He looks perfect and he has nice details. And here's the Duke Zenitsu Agatsuma Thunder Ryu in first form set. This set comes with Zenitsu himself, this, his sword, and a bit of the Thunder Breathing Lightning, and a bit of the Shadow Destruction. That goes with the, the, the lightning. This stuff that it costs fourteen ninety nine. This is a little bit less money compared to the My Hero set they had. That was nineteen ninety nine. But anyways, let's get into the figures you get by themselves. Here's Tanjiro Kamino, and as you can see here, he comes by himself. But this time, he comes with a sword, which is something I like about the the five inch figure because. Deku, Bakugo, and Todoroki and the other figures from My Hero Academia don't come with any accessories. But I like how they added Tanjiro's sword. Which would make sense since um since he can't do anything without his his sword, basically. But so the only thing different with this one compared to the seven inch figure is that he has no green black cloak. And this figure looks kinda out of place. I don't like Tanjiro without his green black sweater. But he looks pretty cool so far, especially how he comes with a sword. And here's the packaging. This one looks also a little bit plain also. But I'm assuming you it comes with a sword and just the, the figure himself. But I'm not sure where you're going to be able to get these figures. I, of course you're going to be able to get this at GameStop and Amazon. But I wonder what other places you're able to get this figure at. Walmart had it in my hero figure, but then... My look, my my Walmart got rid of the my hero figures, so I'm not sure if they're even gonna add the Demon Slayer figures on the shows, or if they're just gonna, just gonna have to take them somewhere else or something like that. Here's the Nezuko Kamino figure. In my opinion, I like this figure. This figure looks a little bit cute. In my opinion, this figure could cost nine nine nine, of course, just like the other figures. And in my opinion, I think I'll be getting this one first because based on how this one looks, it looks really cute and nice. It has a nice detail on her. It looks a bit friendly. The back hair looks really good too. Kind of looks like a, that candy called Twistler. Looks kind of yummy for me to eat. I eat Nesco's hair, which would be kind of weird actually. But the background looks really nice with a good paint job. Here's the Nesco Kamino in her packaging. And let's get on to, I think, our last figure, Muzan. Here's Michael Jackson, ex Muzan. Here's Muzan right here. Muzan looks really cool. Um, his eyes look kind of weird, but he looks more serious because uh, they could have probably went for a massive look. But I think this is the first thing they ever made a Muzan. I think this is the first Muzan figure they ever made that's able to move, I think. Because I'm not sure that a Figma moves on figure but this figure looks really cool it has details on the hair 
You got the detail on the hat, especially on the shirt. You can still be a, see a bit detail on the buttons, which is something I like about a figure, especially on the shoulder pads. We have all the like line of those those little symbols on her sh and her shirt, and that's gonna be it for the figures that are gonna be released. Now I only found one figure that and I think will be coming out soon. He's a leak. He's our leak figure of the twelve inch a uh, seven inch series that hasn't came out yet. Anosuke is confirmed to get a seven inch figure soon for McFarlane, but so far there's no final product yet. But he was confirmed to get an actual figure, which would be pretty cool. What will be cool for the Anosuke figure and ho what I'm hoping for is that they he comes with two separate heads. One with his mask and the other one with his actual face. Which would be kind of cool on this figure. It would be also cool if you're able to take out the sword from, from, from his pants. Even though I think that's going to be kind of hard. But Anosuke may be a hard figure for him to make actually since, since the sword's on the side of his his pants anyways thank you guys for watching my video remember to like the like button and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next video when i make my new plushie video bye